CSGO has a Christmas update. The most exciting change has to be the new surround sound, known as HRTF in the options. This is what we've been asking for for years. You can finally tell if people are behind you or above you or, or below you. I think it's best that I show an example. Click on it for a longer comparison between this and the old system. It does this by mimicking how your ears work, adjusting the bass and introducing tiny delays so that your brain can pick up the direction more accurately. This is excellent news for gamers and mappers alike, and opens up a lot of new map designs that just wouldn't have worked before. As is usual with a new feature, it looks like it currently has problems. I'm sure the direction the sound comes from is delayed slightly, but only if you're spinning around at like 4000 dpi. Could just be me. But there definitely are issues with it right now. Check out Seb DJ's video where he proves this with science. And cool looking programs. Hopefully Valve improves this feature, but I see including it in the first place as a great start and a lot better than it was before. At first, you might think that it sounds like things are underwater, but this is all part of how it works. It's pretty extreme, but if we're happy to turn up the contrast to improve visibility, why not do the same for our ears? And I think that these things are a small price to pay for the benefits. And if you don't like it, disable it and continue moaning that you can't hear where people are coming from instead. This sound update coincides with numerous changes to Nuke. This really is the Christmas where Nuke becomes playable. You can no longer plant on the tops of the silos on either side. The ladders have also been removed, which has a knock-on effect of removing this shortcut to vents on B. The top of the silos on A now look the same. The railings on the walkway above A have also been removed, which if anything will probably make it safer to run along since now you can quickly drop off if you come under fire. Toxic is back to how it used to be, though still at a new location. The window has been removed and has instead been replaced with a double door. In T-Lobby, the route to Squeaky has changed to make movement smoother. The forklift has also been removed, making it a lot more open. Cover has been added to this corner in B in the form of a tall metal crate. The bollards outside have also been removed to give you fewer things to get stuck on. The cover on the top of Mini outside has also been removed, making it more open. Whiteboards have been placed over the fences on the T side of outdoors. Maybe this is to improve visibility, but I'm more interested in the amount of stuff they've changed from behind here. They also mentioned numerous optimizations, and it definitely looks like a lot of stuff has either been moved or removed. Not just here, but near the cooling towers in the distance and beyond as well. A clip has been added to ramp room to make it smoother, before there was a little jump in your view as you stepped over it, and apparently you could get stuck, though I never have. And saving the best till last, this vent has changed colour. They also fixed numerous bugs listed on csgobugtracker.com. If you find bomb stuck spots, or other small issues with existing maps, then add them to the site, along with a picture to help demonstrate it. Valve is watching. It's also worth mentioning another bit of the update. Public lobbies, which will allow you to queue with nearby players. This may end up being bigger than you might think. It could even result in teammates who speak the same language as you. And apparently, seven new service medals for 2017 have been added. This is how the first compares to those from 2015 and 16. There are other numerous small changes too, like third-person models more accurately matching the first ones. You can see a full update log in the description of this video. In conclusion, an update that has improved the game. And the Source Engine a bit as well. I don't mind having this Christmas present a little early.